Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to the Bob Chats. I'm Alfonso Valdez. Today, we're going to discuss about how to become PCI compliant for a financial service web application using Python and React. Why it's needed? Well, in order to communicate and collaborate with international banks like Chase, Bank of America or Wells Fargo, you need to become PC compliant. In this case, we are going to showcase a basic or a light PCI compliance architect or covering the security from the front end, the security in the back end, DevSecOps, isolated Amazon security tools or technologies, and finally, we are going to match their requirements from PCI compliance version 3.2 to, to the AWS services. Hopefully, you'll like it. We help SaaS companies with their DevOps practice and cloud development through a dedicated team and a unique niche framework. So let's begin. So everything starts from internet directly to Amazon WAF, which Amazon WAF helps mitigate vulnerabilities, mitigate attacks like SQL injection, cross-site scripting attacks, or cross-site request for you, or any rule from the OWASP top 10, either going to the back end or going to the front end. As an overall architecture for a front end reapplication, it's needed raw future tree, Amazon WAF, CloudFront CDN, which catch any steady content, and everything is pulled from the S3 bucket in this case is this one so now in the requirement one which is install and maintain a firewall configuration to protect cardholder data well we will include here AWS WAF and by default Amazon security groups now in regard the backend going directly to the Python application well as any Cluster it requires a Amazon ELB, which is the load balance to different microservices or the microservice cluster. In the case of the Python app, which is under Docker, and it, this microservice is in charge of the business logic of the bank or the, this microfinance application. In the left side, we have Celly Python Worker, which is also in charge on the monthly reports or any scheduled job that it needs to run every day every week or every month and everything all these microservices are under amazon ecs which is a cluster management system similar to kubernetes i believe if you're in amazon i recommend you highly to incorporate ecs instead of kubernetes whenever possible you're amazon now to continue with with the PCI compliant requirement, we have Amazon KMS, which is a management system which helps to store encrypt keys, obviously. It can be for accessing an API or accessing a database, DynamoDB, Amazon RDS, or even for Amazon S3. In the PCI requirements tables, we will select or we'll go to requirement number three, and here we will type the Amazon KMS. Now the next tool is, is Wasu. Wasu is a threat intelligence system. It can be say also a SOC, a CM, or even a SIM. It's just, just a, a security platform and covers multiple security items like security analytics, intrusion detection system, log data, file integrity checker, vulnerability detection, incident response, compliance, cloud security, and container security. Now, for this item, WASU covers the requirement number 5 and the requirement number 10. So number 5 is protect all systems against malware and regularly update antivirus software. And the number 10, which is track and monitor all access to network resources and cardholders data. Now the next sneak, it's part of a DevSecOps CICD process or DevSecOps movement. Uh, it can be injected in your pipeline and it helps developers to bring or detect new vulnerabilities in their code, in the repositories, containers or even in the operating system. 
So if you like to incorporate DepsecOps, I would recommend you start leveraging a SNIC, which in this case, a SNIC covers the requirement number six. Now for the IAM service, in order to authenticate across different services or even log into the entire infrastructure like Amazon console, you will need IAM roles or the IAM service. So if you need to authenticate to Amazon S3 buckets, which in this case covers first requirement number seven and requirement number eight. IAM roles, IAM roles. Now, another important service is Amazon Cloud Trails, which monitors and audits the entire APL calls to the whole AWS network. In this case, it is mapped in PCA compliance requirements sheet in, if not wrong, will be requirement number 10. Besides Wasu, we will include as well Amazon Cloud Trail. Now for the next service as well, we have Amazon CloudWatch, which is very basic and common in AWS deployments, which it's in charge to monitor containers, AWS resources, RDF, easy to instance or any AWS service can be monitored to Amazon CloudWatch, which in this case also goes to the requirement number 10. So we'll put it as well here, AWS. Watch. Now we have SSL certificates which are included in AWS LB and the CloudFront CDN. Either way or both should include SSL. Now for this SSL item we will have to add here. You will have to add here SSL certs for LB CDN which is the front end etc. Now guys, there are some requirements that we didn't cover that are marked as NA, like requirement 2, requirement 9, well, those doesn't require uh, AWS service or an explanation in our architecture. In this case, for example, requirement 11, you will need a penetration testing, a multi print assessment, automated scan, either using a SNIC, Nessus, or Nexpose. And for example, requirement 12, you will need a risk assessment, disaster recovery plan, incident handling, and other processes to comply with your requirement 12. Another example is the requirement 2, which you need to have password policies, as you know, in any organization. Uh, let me see if I'm missing any other. Oh yeah, the requirement 9, which by default you need to include a public and private VPC, which here it's highlighted as you can public subnet and the private subnet within a VPC. You could also include OPVPN, but it's not required in a PCA compliance regulation or assessment. So guys, we have concluded with this explanation about Allied PCI compliance for financial service web application. Hopefully you have enjoyed it like I did myself. Like and comment below. See you later.